Hey guys, it's KJ4A, and welcome back to my RimWorld Let's Play. This is Alpha 9, Season 4. We're on Episode 15, and we are under attack. Sound the sirens! We're under attack! They're coming from the south. There's four of them. One's got an EMP grenade, one's got a laser rifle. We got a Harry Potter reject here with some kind of wand or a silver mace or something. And this guy's got a stupid pistol. Um, so this should be pretty interesting. We are going to... We got our guns ready. Redfield's like sitting there. Look at him. Wait, Redfield's... Hmm, interesting. All right, we're going to recruit everybody. Reds feels like ready. I didn't even tell him to do that. Where? There we go. All right. Recruit everyone. Guys, go there. Reds feels you can stay there. Is Wait, why is he doing it? There you go. Stay there, Reds Fields. All right, Custer Dog. Um, you know what, Custer Dog, just stay out of it. Stay here as backup. Mecky, you get the hell out of it. I don't want you anywhere near this fight. Brandywine, you have the shield or no? Brandywine doesn't have the shield, so we'll just put her over here. Combs has the sh oh, Combs has a sniper rifle. Put him right there. Wasp, you have a s rifle as well. Rada, you're the one with the shield. All right, very good, very good. So we will put you, Rada, right there. Reds feels you're good. Tail, uh, what are you good at, Tail? You're not good at anything. Just stay out of this. Stay back here. Okay, here they come. I'm going to wait for the last minute to turn our guns on. Don't have a ton of power. And toggle power. Shoot, why isn't the power on? God, I hope I didn't miss anything. Yeah. And turn the power on. There we go. Come get it, guys. Concentrate fire on this dude. Don't I have another guy with, like, a sniper rifle who should be around here? Cluster, you, you. Oh, he's not there yet. God, Combs. Is Combs want the peg leg? Probably. Jesus, this rolling guy is freaking badass. Down he goes. Oh, they got one of my thingy mobs. Oh, another grenade. Alright. Rada, you're gonna get ready, because I think they're gonna try and run. There they go. Brandywine, you too. Alright, turn off the guns. Turn off the guns. I don't want to shoot my own guys. Alright, you're gonna melee him. I want to get that laser rifle that this guy, that guy, that that guy has. All right, while they're doing that, why don't you guys strip him? Strip him. Unforbid, unforbid. Oh come on, tell me he's not going to get away. I want that freaking rifle. Forget about Brandywine. You're not going to make it. Ah, I should have sent Rada in earlier. I was just afraid he was going to get shot. Damn it! I should have sent Rada in earlier. He's got a shield for a reason. God, that, that sucks. Hmm. Alright, you are going to... Haul. And you're going to haul. No, haul. Uh, oh, somebody's already hauling it. Okay. We will unforbid this. Damn, that really sucks, man. I wanted that laser rifle. Oh, well. What the hell's that? Oh, is he hunting? Yeah, he's hunting. He scared the crap out of me, Redfield. That's why Redfield was down here in the first place. He was hunting. Trade ship, exotic goods, Custer. Why don't you see what they got?
Okay, what do we got? Oh, they got these stupid things. Uh, we could sell them some stuff. Sell them cloth stuff. Do you have cloth to sell back? They've got silver and gold, and that's it. Alright, well... Let's sell the crappy stuff. 19%. Um... 36%. It's cobra skin. Pretty good. Personal shield, no. Power armor. Ooh, he's got power armor? Can't afford it. Don't care about tribal wear stuff. That's 29%. 12%. Uh, 27%. Get rid of shoddy. Mm, let's see what else we got here. Nothing? Alright, that should be good. Just get rid of stuff. Not even make any money back for it. Just get it the hell out of there. Okay, got a little bit more iron down here. Let's uh let's do this. We're gonna save up a thousand iron because uh because with um with the uh, the mod we have, uh, uh, Mech Defense 2, we can make an ore extractor. Which is a sustainable way of getting ore, but it costs a thousand metal, so we have to kind of save up some metal for it. Uh, although with the slag thing, that's not going to be as difficult. As a matter of fact, let's go right here and uh, let's give orders to haul the slag. Okay. Got a lot of slag. It's not being it's not being moved though. Well some of it is, but not enough. We're gonna turn this off for now. Cause we don't really need it right now. We're gonna haul the slag over there and then that way because when someone's like working here, I don't want them running all the way out here just to get the slag. You know what I mean? Uh, as a matter of fact, let's come down here and make this zone even bigger. Okay. It's going to be our hydroponics room. Not quite sure how I want to do this room yet. Let's take a look. First of all, how much should it take for a hydroponics thing? Basin? 125 steel. That's not bad. Oh, what's that? What's that? Uh, someone's drinking alcohol and we already got the trade ship. So hydroponics, what do you think? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Like this. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I like that. And then we'll mine out the same on the other side. Uh, what is it? One, two, three, four. So one, two. You know what? I don't like it where it is. Let's cancel these. And let's move this room up. One. Okay. Do your thing, Brandywine. Okay. All these guys, man. Like, uh, oh boy. Where, where's all my haulers? Like, are you hauling? You're constructing. Uh, or wardening, or repairing, or... Oh, no, you're researching. Wait, are you researching? Oh, I don't have anything picked. Should I have him researching? I probably should. Let's have him research... Fissure Generator. Okay, so you're not going to be hauling. Uh, you know, don't even put that on hauling, because... Uh, can you haul? You can grow. And then craft, and then haul. You will mine. Yeah, but anyway, you're just going to mine. Uh, and we'll put you on hauling as well. Uh, you will craft and then haul, right? Craft and then haul if they're not repairing. Yeah, I should have a lot of haulers, man. It just takes a lot of work to haul everything. Sheesh. How's our food situation? Yeah, it's looking a, a little better. Okay. 
So now we will put the hydroponics basin right there, there, and we'll just keep going like that. I don't, I don't know if there's like a better, a best way to do this. You could probably just put them one right after another, but I'm gonna put them one every two spots just because I can. Look at you, brandy one. All right, so what is that? Five spots. All right, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay. All right. So do we have crafters that are ready to go? That's what I need to know. This guy is a crafter when he's not, when he's not growing. This guy is a crafter, period. We should definitely have a crafter. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna turn this machine on and somebody Better start, actually don't turn it on till, till daytime because everyone's probably going to be sleeping soon. And we need to make, we need to take this and go down a little bit farther. Well, is this getting power or not? It's, it doesn't seem like it is. I don't know why there's power things here. Mm, let's just do this. Alright, just waiting through the night now. How's our cloth? 14. God, it takes forever. Okay, now we're going to turn this thing on. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, someone will start crafting. Okay, is anybody going to craft these slag chunks? Who are the people who are supposed to be crafting? Uh, Meki, if he's not growing, should be crafting. What are you doing, Meki? Harvesting, okay. So who's the other crafter? Uh, Combs, what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? Combs. Hauling, okay, why are you hauling? Crafting is number two. Hauling is number two, but it's after crafting. Let's reset him. There he goes. Okay. Yeah, sometimes people just need to be reset. Sometimes they just get, like, bugged in a certain situation. I don't know how much he's going to get for this. Let's take a look. Come on, Combs. What'd you get? What'd you get? Really? Eight steel from that? <laughs> That's pretty crappy. Um, can I have him just put it down at his feet? Uh, do forever not spend it. Take best, take to best stockpile. Drop on the floor. There we go. Yeah, we'll just have him drop it on the floor. Someone else will, someone else will carry it. Okay, so this has power, correct? Yes, it does. Okay, so you have power. What are we going to grow in here? Potato plants, rice plants, cotton plants. Mm, let's go with... What do we what do we, what do we? we got here? Rice and potatoes. So let's grow some strawberry plants. Where's my crafter? Who was the crafter anyway? Combs, yeah, combs. Oh, he's making a t-shirt. With the cloth. Okay, alright, that's that's understandable. That's understandable, I'm cool with that. Actually, why is he making t-shirts? Maybe I could sell them? Maybe I'm selling t-shirts? Cloth. Okay, well, let's see what he does here, because... I'm wondering if I've made t-shirts before, and... He didn't finish it, okay. He got hungry. I'm just keeping an eye on what he's making and where, where he's putting it. I want to keep an eye on what he's making. I want to make sure this stuff that he's making is very sellable. Okay, this is what he made. He made a shoddy boar skin t-shirt. Okay. So what we'll do is we will keep an eye on that and we'll sell it and see how much it's good for. I wonder if the guy's still in the... 
I wonder if the trade ship is still there. Nope, I don't think so. Where's he going now? Alright, now he's crafting up the... Okay. And he should just drop this right on the ground. Okay, very good. And that's just eight. So one steel... One of these slag things is only worth eight steel. That seems pretty weak, man. Like, Jesus, that's, that's weak. And almost all the slag chunks are out of here. Although there's still some more around here. That's not a lot at all. Like... Well, at least our food's starting to pick up a little bit. We now have our 20 meals made, so that's good. Alright. Alright, that is looking good. So we got our uh, smelting area here. And we have our hydroponics area over here. I'm debating what I want to do with the smelting area if I want to put some more stuff in here. I am thinking I can move this... Uh, stockpile behind it behind it and then put something else in here maybe a stone cutters table that would actually be pretty cool let's do that all right zone stockpile all right stockpile clear all uh, steel slag chunks okay and then we will delete this stockpile and make this stockpile important then we will make another stone pile. Orders. Zone. Stockpile. And then we'll make this stockpile. Stone chunks. No. Not stone chunks. What are the stone chunks we're making? Uh, sandstone block. Okay. Stand, sand stone chunks. Sandstone chunk. There we go. Important. Okay. And then we'll just leave that alone for now, and eventually we'll put a, a, a stone cutting table down here. Okay, everything looks like it's going pretty good now. Alright, they're doing a lot of hauling. But they still haven't hauled this stuff away, so they've still got a lot of work to do. Orders, haul, no. no, haul this and this, and this, and this. All right, got to get that steel. All right, looks like everything is mined out, so let's uh, continue with this mining system right here. Maybe we'll run into some more steel, hopefully. Oh boy, some sort of psychic wave has swept over the landscape. Your colonists are okay, but it seems like many of the deers in the area have been driven insane. Oh boy. Well, at least we're going to have food incoming. Alright, turn on all the guns. And bring everybody inside. I know they're all sleeping, but I don't want them going outside by mistake. Here come the deer. And there go the deer. Okay, very good. Now we need these deers hauled before they go bad. So, can't haul them? Uh, oh, he's still alive. Alright, whatever. Alright, Custer. Call that deer. Mechie. Uh, haul that deer. Combs. Haul. Wasp. Haul. See, that's pretty nice. Because it didn't even cost me anything. My gun just shot them all to death. And um, it's nice now because I got a lot of food coming in. That was a blessing in disguise. Not even in disguise. This is a blessing. Why don't you execute this deer? Oh. Wait, you can't kill him? Yeah. Melee that deer. Now haul his ass. You've been hauled, bro! I 
I do have a little bit more hunting going on, and honestly, I probably should cancel it. But, um, it's okay. We can stockpile some food. It's not gonna kill us. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get leather, too. Don't forget we made this boar skin t-shirt. I want to see what it sells for. Probably sell a lot of this stuff, to be honest. I guess if people don't have toques, I should give them to them, shouldn't I? Let's see who's cold. Not cold. Not cold, not cold. Not cold. You're cold. What do you got? You got nothing. Alright. So why don't you go ahead and grab a... Tuke and a parka. Okay. Uh, not cold. Wearing tattered stuff, though. Let's see what they got that's tattered. Uh, the t-shirt. Okay, let's get you a better t-shirt. There you go. Wear that t-shirt. Wearing frayed. Uh, what's he wearing that's frayed? Ooh, is 44% frayed? Oh, that sucks. That's a little bit... I don't think that's low enough to con be considered frayed. I don't know about that. Um, well, do I have anything better? Oh, yeah, I got the cloth t-shirt. Okay, wait, crap, who was that? <laughs> uh, okay, you're fine. Alright, you're wearing frayed shirt. So, come up here and grab this one. How about now? There you go. Cold. Okay, you're cold. What do you got? What do you got? Nothing. Okay, um, go ahead and grab the parka. And then grab... The... Tuke. Now you should not be cold anymore. Okay, cabin fever. That's not my problem. Wearing freight apparel again? Oh, the parka. No. Um, There's not much I can do about that. He's just I guess he's just gonna have to sit, stick with it. Oh, here's a better parka. I mean, you're pretty hard to please, dude. Uh, ugly environment. Uh, wearing freight apparel, okay. And the freight is the parka. And there should be a better parka. Who is that? That's Rada? Yes, Rada, okay. There you go. Alright, we are going to need someone to start cleaning up. Because they are having bad thoughts about their their base. So, let's go to zone. Make sure this stuff's home region. Okay. Alright, it's fine. And, let's have someone cleaning up. Uh, tail, you can clean. No, you go to two, and you go to one. Now, tail will start cleaning. Yep, there he goes. We can also, we also start, got to start working on the floor. Um, the thing about the floor is, I've got a decision to make. Do I want to go with wood floor, or do I just go with uh, smoothing out the floor? There's a smoothing out the floor option. I just don't remember where it is. Where's the smoothing out the floor option? Here we go, smooth floor. I mean, I should probably go with the wood floor, right? I mean, it just... I'd imagine that would be better. It doesn't say it's better, though. That's the thing. Wood floor for that warm, homely feeling. Well, it doesn't say it's better. Hold on, I got an idea. Let's go right here to... Zone... Uh, um, where was it? Here we go. Smooth floor. We'll smooth out some of the floor. And then we'll do a... We'll do a comparison on which one is better looking to our people. Alright, all the mining's done. I don't see any extra stuff. So... Not sure what I want to do next. Mm, let's go ahead and make another room. Right here. 
And this will be like um, another crafting room. I should probably make it as big as this one. How big was this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I want to make the crafting rooms the same, um, the same size. Okay, uh, you heard the timer, so we're going to call this one here. That is going to be it for episode 15. We'll see you next time for episode 16. Till then, take it easy.